My name is Dr. David Binglis with Atlanta Brain and Spine Care, also with Atlanta Institute for Minimally Invasive Spine Surgery. Today I'm going to talk to you about a condition that many of my patients present with called myelopathy. It's a problem of spinal cord compression, um, most commonly in the cervical spine, whether it's from arthritis or a single disc, but more than often it's from multiple levels, uh, problems at multiple levels. Um, there's many ways to treat that, but first I want to tell you how uh, many of these people present. A lot of them will have neck pain, neck stiffness, which is really from arthritis. But on um, further questioning, they'll often mention that they've had trouble with balance over the uh, past month or months that they've noticed is not normal, as well as fine hand function. They're not able to button their shirts. Some of them also mention that they have bowel or bladder incontinence that's over and above uh, normal. Um, and I wanted to show you on my spine model, uh, one of the ways to treat this is actually a motion preserving uh, procedure where uh, I know you see plates here, but these plates aren't fixating the spine. This is a way to keep the spinal canal open and keep the, the person's bones uh, on the spine so that muscle can come back and be reattached on the bones. It's called a cervical laminoplasty. And again, this is a good procedure if someone doesn't have any instability, meaning problems with their joints here that causes abnormal motion. So to, in order to be a candidate for this procedure, you need to have a nice lordotic curve in your spine. You, you should have spinal stenosis and myelopathy. And what we do is we go in here and make partial cuts on one side. You can see these are partial cuts here and full cuts on the other and prop open the bone creating a new spinal canal for the spinal cord which is blue here to live. Now again, if there's a reason why uh, uh, laminoplasty would not be indicated, it will be if someone's unstable or if the curve in their spine is abnormal, meaning a straight spine or a kyphotic spine. In that case, if there's compression over multiple levels, what we'll do is remove the spinous processes and then put instrumentation in screws and rods bilaterally. Thank you.